Come in, Mr. Holmes. Don't stand in the drafty corridor. I should hate to have you take cold and die of natural causes. That would defeat the ends of injustice, wouldn't it? You see, we've been expecting you. Obviously. But what made you think I'd come here alone? Your somewhat overdeveloped sense of drama, Mr. Holmes. Oh? Yes. If we'd permitted you to trail us here, there was always a chance you might bring along reinforcements. So I took steps to make things a little more dramatic. Melodramatic is the word. The business of the dolls was a little overdone. Yet it intrigued your interest and brought you here alone. You're an exceedingly clever woman, Miss Petting. Elementary, my dear Mr. Hope. On the other hand, if I hadn't come here alone, I should never have got in. And you would have been on your way. A sensible idea under any circumstances. On the contrary. It'd be such a bore living the rest of my life, looking back over my shoulder. So you decided to let me catch up with you? Precisely. One of us had to be eliminated. The choice was not too difficult. You know, Miss Bedding, I find it hard to believe that anyone clever enough to use the Lycosa Carnivora and that creature in the suitcase for the purpose of murder should be reduced to anything as conventional as a bullet. Even though the use of the back room of a shooting gallery shows a certain amount of imagination. Thank you. However, it will be nothing so trite, I assure you. The difficulty, of course, was to liquidate you without seeming to have a hand in the business. An interesting problem. You have, of course, arrived at a solution. Naturally. A positive inspiration, Mr. Holmes. We shall allow the British public to be your executioner. Ingenious, isn't it? Ingenious, but uninspired. If you don't mind my saying so, it lacks the personal touch. Taylor? Jiminy's meet me here and meet me there. Where the... where is he anyhow? I'm blessed if I know. He said wait here by the shooting gallery and look inconspicuous. Inconspicuous? Oh. He said inconspicuous, Lestrade. Not half-witted. Watch out there. Dr. Watson and Lestrade are out in front. What luck. The perfect irony. The personal touch you said the whole thing lacked. Perhaps Dr. Watson will be your executioner. Turn it off, Taylor. You know where that arts ought to be, and here the other side. Oh, what do you say, Doctor? Just while we're waiting. My dear fellow, you're playing into the hands of one of the best rifle shots in, in England. I say, the valid target stopped. All right, Grandpa, keep your air on. Just a minute mechanical problem. My dear fellow, one can't shoot at a... And a sitting bird? Can one? No, Doctor. Remove that gun. You see, when this steel plate is removed, there's nothing to prevent the bullets from going straight into your heart. Do you mind, Mr. Holmes? You'll stop out front long enough to see the job is done. Radlick, don't forget the suitcase. All right, Taylor, start the machinery. He's been a long time. Well, if he said he'd be here, he'll be here. It's no good saying he won't. Hmm. Guess I'll get Hitler the next time. Doctor, not bad. I'm even better with an elephant gun. Oh, he's gone again. A 
I'll get him this time. My dear Miss Fedding, I replaced the gong. Don't move anyone. You men here to start? All right, lad. Sergeant, take care of that suitcase. There's valuable evidence inside it, and it's alive. I'll take care of it, sir. You needn't put those things on the strad. She'll go quietly. Thank you, Mr. Holt. I say, Holmes, where have you been all this time? I've been going round and round in a circle. Circle? Yes, but my heart wasn't in it. Remarkable woman. Audacious and deadly as one of her own spiders. Audacious? Stupid, I call it. Fancy trying to commit a murder in a place like this. All these people about. That's where you're wrong, old boy. In an isolated place, a cry for help or a single shot might very well arouse the curiosity of at least one casual witness. But in an arcade like this, people are bent only on pleasure and will instinctively disregard any deviation from the normal that doesn't immediately concern them. Yes, Watson? This spelling deserves credit for picking the most logical spot in the world to commit my murder. Oh? Where's that? In the middle of a crowd. He was no great sax as a tick from all I heard. Just one of them easy chair Johnnies. Put sat on his tail and let everybody else do the dirty work. Uh, that'll be enough. Mind you, I ain't saying he didn't get that credit. But newspapers can be bought. Can't they now? You insert. You dare to imply... All right, all right, all right, Governor. Keep your shirt on. I've got a right to my opinion. And it's my opinion that Mr. Sherlock Holmes was nothing more but an old herring gut. You, you say that again. An herring gut. An old herring gut. Oh! Up to get you, worm. We'll see who's a herring gut. <laughs> it's all right, Watson. I take you back. Call off your dogs. Holmes! Holmes! It's all right, old boy. Don't look like that. Get hold of yourself. Here, have a drink. <laughs> 